Hi, I'm Sarah Gonzalez. I'm an Associate Professor of Anthropology at the University of Washington and the new Curator of Archaeology at the Burke Museum of Natural History. I'm an anthropological archaeologist by training, and I work with tribal communities here in Washington, Oregon, and California to figure out how to make archaeology work for and in accordance with tribal cultural values and protocols for how to deal with heritage, how to understand and research their history. Most people think when I say that I'm an archaeologist that I'm always in the field, that I look like Indiana Jones, I've got you know, the fedora, I've got a whip, maybe a pistol at my hip. And yet, usually a typical day in an archaeologist, especially one who's employed by a university, is I'm teaching. I'm in the classroom and I'm teaching about archaeology to my undergraduate as well as graduate students. So that's often a typical day. An ideal day for me involves either some kind of lab work, so getting to work through the belongings, the cultural materials that um, I've recovered through the different projects that I've worked on with tribes, um, or it involves me actually going out into the field and being able to survey sites or work with the tribal community to protect and care for their heritage. I grew up camping and kind of rock hounding as a kid. I think all of my family vacations that I can think of, you know, we didn't fly to Disney World or Disneyland, we went and camped in our backyard. Or, you know, we went and explored all of California and kind of northeastern Nevada. And so that certainly was an inspiration for me when I first got into archaeology, that I wanted to have a career that you know, was focused on the outdoors, that involved teamwork, and that involved a little bit of, of adventure. Recently, I've been involved in, involved in founding the Indigenous Archaeology Collective, and I'm really proud of this because a lot of my work involves how do we make archaeology more inclusive and representative of Indigenous peoples. And with this group, we have created a mentoring program as well as opportunity for other Indigenous archaeologists to connect with one another all across the U.S. and indeed all across the world. Um, one would imagine, especially in a time of Zoom and COVID, that we're so isolated from one another, but this group has really brought people from across the U.S. right now together to talk about what it would it mean to make a more inclusive archaeology, what, what can archaeology look like in the future, and how can Indigenous people's voices within archaeology be elevated and also supported. For the past five years, I've run the Field Methods in Indigenous Archaeology Field School and Related Project the community-based uh, research partnership with the Confederate Tribes of Grand Ronde, their historic preservation office. And um, for the past five years, we've been training archaeology students how to do archaeology with, by, and for a tribal nation. And it's been a really exciting uh, venue for us to change how we think of um, how we think of archaeology training and to broaden open to audiences who typically haven't been involved. So um, we offer and feature scholarships for Indigenous students as well as tribal members. And we've um, been working to make sure that when students come to do the field school that they get trained not just in all of the techniques that we use in the field, but they understand the hows and whys of um, when we use those techniques. On the ground, we can be doing anything from, you know, surveying historic sites on the Grand Ronde Reservation to helping the exhibit staff um, or the culture staff go out and collect and harvest um, traditional plants uh, to help support their programs. So, <laughs> you know, it might mean that we're out there berry picking one day or harvesting maple bark the next or sorting bear grass um, that the tribe has just been given from U.S. Forest Service because it was illegally poached from their, from their homelands. So that's not what you think of when you think of traditional archaeology, but it certainly is archaeology in a Grand Ronde context where we really are working in the service of the tribe and helping build its capacity to be able to care for and protect heritage. Historically, archaeology has been very exclusive. And specifically, kind of the story of archaeology in North America and in the U.S. has been one where archaeologists have claimed ownership over heritage, heritage that by and large is not theirs, that's been, that is associated with contemporary U.S. tribal nations today. And so when we think about what it means to do archaeology within indigenous context or tr within the context of working with a tribal nation, we have to be very aware of the colonial legacies of the work that we're doing and also the historical trauma that's involved when you bring up doing archaeology. You know, it's taken a long it's taken a long time in order to get to a point at which um, archaeologists and tribes can actually work together for the benefit of heritage and history, and more specifically, for the benefit of communities themselves. So like I said, that history of how archaeologists in our discipline has typically related to Indigenous peoples, 
um, it's a sad history and it's one that we're actively trying to repair and that my work actively seeks to address. Well, I think the Burke has a critical role to play in connecting these histories together. Often times when we think of archaeology, we think about archaeology in terms of the past and past peoples, but we have a really great opportunity to be able to demonstrate and tell visitors how this history is present today um, and how the belongings that we represent or that we exhibit are part of living traditions and deeply connected to contemporary cultures and contemporary tribal nations. And that's really why I'm here at the Burke is because of their advocacy and because they're doing actively doing things in a new way, a different way. Um, one that's more inclusive of the communities whose belongings we care for.